Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making microwave meatballs. I have before me a number of ingredients. I have what I'm calling a meatloaf mix. You might find this in your grocery store. So this has beef and pork in it. You can also find it in beef, pork, and veal. I would suggest that if you do a meatloaf mix or a meatball mix that the meat itself, the beef portion, is at least 93%. Um, lean, or you can also do 100% beef, you can do 100% turkey, any of these things will work great, whatever you like um, will taste the best. I have breadcrumbs, this is parsley, this is garlic powder, you can also chop up a clove of garlic, this is a couple of eggs, and I will be beating them like so, and then adding in the other ingredients, so we have milk, that is whole milk. You can also use low fat milk or skim milk. Now, because we're doing this in the microwave, I am going to have a little bit more moisture in the meatballs because the microwave cooking will dry them out a little more so than if you fried them or sauteed them or put them in the oven in a muffin tin, which those are all good options. You can actually, um, I enjoy using a muffin tin to make my meatballs. So you can also do that. You would just take a muffin tin and spray it with some oil spray. And then instead of doing these in the microwave, you just put them in the oven at about 400 degrees for 20 or 25 minutes. I'm gonna add in the garlic powder. I'm gonna put in some salt and pepper. I generally like to mix all my ingredients together first before I put the meat in. Because once I put the meat in, I will use my hands to finish getting it together. Now this is grated Parmesan cheese. You can keep the cheese or delete the cheese altogether. Totally up to you. Now, what do you do once you're done with the meatballs, once they're actually cooked? So they will be a little more delicate. So what I usually like to do is have my sauce ready to go in a pot on the stove, and I will just carefully Took, take those cooked meatballs and put them into the sauce. And then you just get your pasta or your zucchini noodles or whatever it is that you're doing and dinner is served. You can also freeze these really well. So if you make a batch, you can just put them in a freezer container, put them right in the freezer. They'll stay good for at least three months. So let's add in our meat. So I'm gonna use my hands to make sure all of this integrates really well together. So I'm gonna put a few in this bowl here. It's a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And because I am using a microwave safe bowl, I can fit easily four in here. If you have a microwave safe plate, you know, if it's a decent size, you could probably fit at least eight on there. All right, I'm gonna stick these in the microwave and. We'll be back in a minute and you can see what they look like after they're cooked. Okay, so here are my microwave meatballs. There's one little guy right there and another one right there. So when they do cook in the microwave, they don't hold their shape as well as if you had fried them or, or sauteed them or baked them, but they still taste super delicious and uh, yeah, so go make some. I'm gonna freeze these and then make another batch and have some for dinner tonight. All right, so once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching my New York City kitchen. These are my microwave meatballs and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>